Hello there guys, welcome to Emerald House of Cars. My name is Greg and today I'm going to be your host for your virtual walkaround video of our gorgeous arrival, the Mercedes-Benz E220D AMG Line Premium. Now, this one is premium by name and definitely premium by nature. You can see it comes stacked with incredible features. Now the E-Class means executive and that is exactly what this delivers. Now starting off, you've got the 992, which is of course the paint code for this car. That is metallic selenite gray. You can see nice, deep, rich metallic flake underneath a gorgeous dark gray. Looking down the car, you can see it's free from any dinks or dents and there's no issues. Looking around, you've got your AMG diamond cut alloy wheels, you can see here. They are, of course, a 19 inch, and you've got the silver caliper just behind. Moving around from parking sensors, you can see we've got LED high performance headlights, including daytime runners, and you've got the black and chrome styling on there to really give it a nice contrast. Moving all the way around, bonnet, good condition, minimal stone chips. Again, you come around, you can see you've got your second alloy, and you look down this side, and again, you can see. No marks, no distortion, no dinks, no dents. Mirrors, good order, no scratches. They are, of course, the electric option. And then, of course, you've got your big windscreen here with no chips or cracks up top. Electronic sunroof, which, of course, you can see is semi-open at the minute. And that is for the simple fact that we can't open it when the keys are in my pocket. Now, moving down, you can also see you've got tinted privacy glass, plus black B pillars, and you've got the silver window surround as well chrome on the door handles on the top section lower section is of course in the body color very clever and you've got that gorgeous sweeping rear end which comes around into a very stylish very elegant and very sophisticated looking rear end now you can see there you have Svarkovsky crystals in your rear lights you've got the chrome belt line e220 badging chrome rear diffuser and chrome dual exit exhaust along with rear parking sensors and a reverse camera as well now to open the boot Click it down on the key and you'll hear it unlock, you'll hear it unlatch. If I can fight to get the keys out of my pocket. And of course it'll open up remotely as well. And inside you can see you've got a very generous amount of space within to do all the storage. Now it is a remote boot. Click the button, that'll close itself down. Lock, latch, no need to get involved. And again, all around you can see very well maintained, very well looked after by its previous owner. It's a real, real treat for new owners, this one. Very, very rich in history and heritage. Very executive and one of the best luxurious cars currently available. Now, heading on inside, you'll see behind the VIP glass rests a gorgeous looking bit of kit. You've got Alcantara, you've got the white stitching on the black leather, you've got the drop down armrest, you've got Isofix, no rips, no stains, no tears, you can see here gorgeous black carpet as well really well looked after on here black open port ashwood which is very very popular you've also got electric windows in the back and then in the front hold on to your horses because this is where it gets incredible you can see big big influx of style chic design in here now you can see the seats are obviously sculpted contour seats on there really really nice very practical, very spacious, very comfortable. Electronic memory settings. You of course down here, I've got the Mercedes-Benz door inlay. And up top, you can see, you've got the electronic glass panoramic roof. Now, coming across, you can see this door card, you've got leather, white stitching, piano gloss black. You've also, of course, on there, got your heated seats in three stages, electronic memory settings. And this one, this is very cool. Click that button and you can see, you can move the chair forward and backwards on the opposite side of the car. How cool is that? So again, click the L button and that will move them on the opposite side. Down there, remote boot lock, central locking and then electric folding mirrors and the electric windows as well. And getting inside, not only is it supremely spacious and comfortable, it's packed with tech as well. You can see on here, you've got all the nice options. You've got the leather all the way across the dash and you've got that contrast piping all the way across the top. Blends gorgeously all the way around and in to the driver's door card. Now to turn it on, very simple. Click the engine button once. That'll bring it up like this. Press the button again. You can see it starts first time. No issues, no delay, 
no problems, no hesitation, no warning lights, just a straight starting motor. And on here, you've got piano gloss black, you've got chrome, and of course here, you've got the ringlet design on the analog dash. You've got the digital information display in the middle. You can see here, you've got cruise control. Let's not forget. You have also, of course, on here, got your gears, drive select mode, time, information and kilometers an hour as well now you can change the display in the middle very easily and that is using the right hand section on the steering wheel now you can see you can go all the way different options so if we start on service click on there you can see there's no error messages no issues add blue you can measure your add blue you've got tires you can of course display and reset your tpms You've got Sys Plus, you can see your next service is an A service, not due for 322 days. You've got your engine oil level, that will measure it for you. It does take a while, I mean, I haven't got that long. You can also see you've got assistance features, attention assist. And you've also got the breakdown here in terms of forward traffic alert. So on there, that will give you a breakdown of how close things are in front of you and if there's anything that you need to be aware of. Moving away from that, you've got trip, of course your trip computer. You've got your mileage, which as you can see there is 38219. You've got your cruising range, you've also got your eco display, consumption figures, and a digital speedo as well. Going across, you've got navigation. Now, of course, that won't bring up a virtual cockpit. That'll feed the information off the satellite navigation just here. And of course, what you can see on there is that you're able to give you any commands that you need to be aware of or anything you need to follow. Moving across, you've got your radio, which of course is DAB FM. You've got media, nothing is connected at the minute, but there's plenty of different options which we'll get to soon. Bluetooth telephone, click on this, and that'll be all your Bluetooth info that you need. But for us, we're going to put it back on trip and the digital speed out. Now, moving down from that, you can see on this side, you've got your one stalk. Now, that of course is your wipers, your headlights, your rear wipers. And on the back there, you can just see you've got electric steering column push button start and of course you've got high beam on here as well just like this so if you put it on you can see you've got your high beam on very very easily now on this side you've got your gearbox confusing to some easy for others but for me it's something that everybody is aware of on mercedes these days very easy to use foot on the brake press it down you're in drive press it up you're in reverse you also know because your reverse camera kicks in with your sensors and to put it in park click the button on the edge now coming out from that, you can see steering wheel, soft touch leather, perforated leather, flat bottom, concave base with the silver trim, gorgeous new updated steering wheel design. You've got paddle shift on the left and the right on here. You've got your menu control for your big media device on there. You've got volume, voice control and favorite and telephone. And on this side, you can see instrument cluster menu and cruise control. Moving down onto the menu. Now, I'm not going to use those buttons because I think it gets fiddly. I'm going to use the old school controls just here. You can see big open screen on the navigation. Really, really smart. One big sweeping display, not two separate ones. Really, really nice and very simple to use. Now, what we're going to do is go on the home button. You've got nav, which you've just seen. Of course, you've got your radio. You can scroll all the way across. You can see here radio source fm am internet radio as well sound you've got slideshow different options you've got media if we click on here go across you can see media sources bluetooth audio you can also see you've got memory card and dual usb as well if you go back out of that you can see you've got bluetooth telephone click on there that is your device manager you can connect such as pavan has and someone with the a40 you can click on there and get things sorted very easily now what else you can do out of that is you've got your text message you've got your sms set up you can also see you've got your mercedes connect which of course will need subscription from mercedes benz you've got your seats and if you click on here you can see you've got driver's seat passenger seat seat heat and balance as well dynamic select this is of course your driving if you go on individual configuration you can configure it individually so you can see you can have your driving sport plus steering in comfort and your electronic stability control in esp for sport sport plus or anything else you may need you've got user notification engine data on here really nice brings up a digital display you can see very responsive 
moves exactly the same as the needle does on the dashboard really nice for those who like to know what the car is doing and then of course you've got vehicle data just here and that means you can see you've got your steering angle you've also of course got your brake distribution force just here and your throttle response as well again really nice for those that want to know exactly what's going on you've got assistance features esp camera and park assist yep it has got park assist on here you can also see you've got brake assist and of course attention assist if you go back consumption light settings click on here ambient lighting the one that everybody wants to know yes it's the multicolor ambient lighting that means all the way under these you'll see there's gorgeous leds and at night i will tell you there is absolutely nothing better than a mercedes-benz lit up at night truly truly fantastic and as you can see now the ambient lighting has kicked in not only do you have single color you can have dual color as well you can have lots of different options but it does look really really smart now coming down to so own lighting exterior and interior delay shut off and then you go on to vehicle settings winter tires tow away motion sensor You've got belt adjustment, acoustic lock, auto folding mirrors, automatic door lock, boot lid open limiter if you need to, easy entry and exit. I mean, this thing is absolutely stacked with features. Go across onto system, display and styles. You can see you can have the additional display area if you wish. You've got brightness, display on and off. Input, audio, Bluetooth devices and connectivity and units very very impressive and one that i'm sure is going to delight new owners now moving down from that you can see underneath the leather and above the ambient lighting you've got the black open pore ashwood you've got the adjustable air vents just here of course piano gloss black and crown very intricate design moving down you've got the touchpad options for your media system here if you're struggling and then on here you can see you've got your dual zone aircon now on that if you click menu down that will give you a virtual interpretation and what you can do you can change events change the temperature and you can see the difference on your screen just there moving down big nice open storage very elegant makes it feel massive here you can see you've got ambient lighting around the edges of this as well click the button open you can see you've got storage 12 volt charger dual cup holder that shuts really nice really flush dynamic drive select of course you can see you get a different mode on each one a different picture so you've got eco comfort gives you a breakdown of how the car's configured as well sport sport plus and of course individual moving down audible parking sensors on here you can see you've got park assist and you've got your reverse camera as well auto stop start volume control and you can turn the media system off using that button and just have the singular display and finally to finish in the interior you can see click the button lift it up You've got loads of storage, an SD card, and dual USB. And then we come to the electronically operated panoramic roof. Very simple. There's a button here. Pull it backwards towards you. That will really quietly and really smoothly change the panoramic roof to open. Hold it down the other way. So just like so. Press it once. You can see. Down. Locks. Hold it again. And that will close the sun blind on both the front and the rear and to be honest if you didn't know we wouldn't hold it against you so there you go that is our mercedes-benz e-class in believe it or not short form yep 13 minutes is short form but trust me this car is worth the long video now what else this car is worth is the way knowing that this car has been treated to the emerald 128 point check prior to retailing we'll let you know that this of course has been meticulously prepared at our on-site RAC approved facility including an oil and filter service now what else you need to know is in terms of buying the car there are many different options you can finance you can part exchange you can pay some cash and you may even be eligible for our click and deliver option for any info speak to Tom or Victoria in sales but for me Greg here at Emerald thank you very very much for your time watching the video I appreciate it. it's been a long one but I hope it's been a good one Thank you very much. We'll see you on YouTube or hopefully we'll speak to you very soon.